and more of a Friday night feast than a Friday night fake away tonight. We've got the one and only Mark Birchall. What are you cooking tonight, Mark? So we're going to do a nice take on steak and chips with peppered venison, celery out beetroot and some kale. So nice Ooh, and healthy. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Well, stay tuned for that. We've got some hungry ukulele players and their ladies. <laughs> It may not have escaped your notice, but it is Friday, and that means it's time once again to show you how you can bin off the chippy by doing our Friday fake away. Yes, this week we are in Crosby on Merseyside with a ukulele band who need a little bit of help with their cooking skills. And we think, especially with Valentine's Day around the corner, now might be the time to curry favour, I thank you, with their <laughs> other halves by enlisting one of the Northwest top chefs to show them just how. Mohall Restaurant with Rooms in Autumn is a two Michelin star restaurant. We've only been open two years, and we're absolutely over the moon that you know, we managed to achieve such a high accolade in such a short space of time. Hello, we're the secret ukulele band. One, two, three, four. Some of us sort of decided that we'd like to do some gigs, and it's just snowballed. Every place we played, we've been invited back again. It's quite an infectious uh, instrument. You get a lot of smiling faces. We could be doing gigs every week, but uh, obviously that's not all that fair on your spouses. Like this weekend, we've got we've got two one Friday night, one Saturday night. Okay, well, I'll have to make it up to us somehow, you know. I'm not exactly a chef. <laughs> I sometimes go exotic and make a cheese on toast or something like that. But <laughs> It isn't rocket science, it is just practice. As you can see, we quite like our food. Yeah, I'm fairly trim, it's the other guys I'm worried about. It could be a bit of a masterstroke, you know. And um, I think my missus particularly is going to enjoy it. And we get some massive brownie points, which means carry on gigging, doesn't it? You know? We're doing a little take on steak and chips. So we're going to use venison, some nice green vegetables, some salt baked beetroots. And instead of the chips, we're going to do some little roasted celery. Yeah, well, it smells absolutely amazing. Smoking hot, Mark. This is a bit of a feast, isn't it, for a Friday night? Uh, yeah, apparently, yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing here with the celeriac? Yeah, so we've got some salt-baked celeriacs, uh -huh. which we're just roasting. After we've cut the salt-baked celeriac, we're just roasting it off in a little pan. And that's like the chips bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's the alternative to the chips. Pepper sauce here. We've got some pepper sauce, sauce or um, sauce au poire. Ooh, give it to posh uh, name, Sauce Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're not it, posh it on Granada reports. Night, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and then, what have you got in the oven? So the venison's yeah, already so in the oven, is just got the uh, venison loin in the oven, just roasting away. That'll take three or four minutes. And that's got a pepper crust on it, has it? Yeah, so there's lots You've of literally just rolled it in pepper. black pepper on there. Just and to... show us your salt baked slurry out quickly. Well, What's in here? Oh, sorry, that's well, beetroots, yeah, isn't so it? Yeah, so this is some salt baked beetroots. So Spray it's um, a yeah, little salt crust there. It's been Ooh. in the oven about 45 so minutes. So this is pastry made with salt, so don't eat the pastry, folks, if you're doing this at home. Just the beetroots. Right, we'll leave Mark to that for a yeah. second. Kath and Tom in your kitchen on a Friday night. This is a bit a bit of fun. I'm asking Kath. I know she's going, <laughs> get out of my kitchen. Yeah, it's great. It's great to have the band round, and it's great to have a two-star Michelin chef cooking our tea. And you are going to have a lovely meal tonight, ladies. Steph? She's gone that way. <laughs> yes, all good. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Brilliant stuff. Now, boys, you're going to give us a song. Take it away. Vicky, thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you. Um, if there was a ukulele band in your kitchen on a Friday night, what would you do? Would it put you off? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it would help. Maybe it would, maybe help. It would help. Maybe, yeah, to detract from my dreadful cooking. Right, now it's time to see how they're getting on with our Friday night fake away, a healthy alternative to the takeaway. Vicky Grimes, is it on the plate yet? It certainly is on the plates. Mark Birchall with his two Michelin stars is just putting the final finishing touches on and it looks absolutely amazing. 
Ed over here, however, he was meant to be helping and learning about how to cook his, well, enjoying cooking. his celeriac chips. Come on, then we need some waiters, I think. Service! Here we go, here they are. Right, boys, are you ready to uh, be getting some of your dishes together? It's all good, we'll just get a little, a little bit of venison. Just hang on one second, we're just putting the last little bit of venison on the plates there, guys. If we have the two of the vegetarian ladies, maybe we can just get those across. Lovely stuff. Wow, this is all looking amazing. So, Mark, just talk us through what you're doing with the venison here. You're just carving it very gently, aren't you? Very nicely. Yeah, so we're just carving the venison into And you into put a couple of little pieces. little pieces on each plate there. Yeah, exactly. Look how pink it is in the exactly. middle, because that's really important, isn't it? It needs to be very nice yeah, and... Uh, a, it's such a lean meat. You need to keep it nice and uh, nice and pink so it doesn't dry out. You and know, you, you can, can see if, there, if there's just beef, no fat can... is there at all on that. Exactly. Right, so let's pop those bits of venison on there. It's me that getting a bit ahead of myself there, forgetting the venison. Wow, lovely. OK, guys, let's start uh, taking those away. Maybe we can leave the sauce on the table uh, yeah, in a minute, Mark, for, for the ladies, because yeah. we've... Uh, the sauce. There we go. The Just put it on there. There we go. Lovely stuff. Fantastic. Thank you, Mark. Looking yeah. fab. OK, girls, let us know, let us know how, you, how you're feeling about this one, Thank then. You. What do you think? Have you had a little try, Steph? Absolutely delicious. <coughs> and look at that venison. Do you think the boys are going to be able to replicate this? I very much doubt it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not, they'll, give it, they'll give it a good go. They'll give it a good go. Well, the girls are looking very happy, though. Is this going to stop you from your cheese on toast, then, Pete? Are we going to see a bit more adventurousness in the kitchen? I think I've got to aim a bit higher now, haven't I, after this? <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think you might have to. I think you might have to. Play us out, lads. Brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. They had venison and they had celeriac and they had music. I'll what more you, do you need? It's making me hungry. <laughs> anyway, Vicky Grimes was in Crosby.